In this video, I'll be attempting to make pyrotechnics using chlorine oxidizers, such as calcium hypochlorite and TCCA. I'm going to use four different oxidizers, aluminium powder, glycerin, charcoal powder and magnesium powder. To start, I'm going to use a small amount of TCCA mixed with a small amount of aluminium powder. On this bit of paper, I've got a small amount of TCCA powder. I'm now going to add a small amount of aluminium powder. I'm now going to weigh out 2 grams of calcium hypochlorite. I'm now going to crush up the 65% calcium hypochlorite. I'm now going to weigh out half a gram of aluminium powder. I'm now going to carefully mix the two. I'm going to try lighting my mix. Not very much happened there, but it was more than what happened last time with the TCCA. I'm now going to try using a stronger reducing agent, magnesium powder. Once again, I've ground up the calcium hypochlorite and I'm now going to add a small amount of magnesium powder. There was definitely a reaction as you could see in the previous video. That means I've got something right. I probably just need to work out the stoichiometric ratios. I've now worked out the stoichiometric ratios to this reaction. Basically, it's 80% calcium hypochlorite and 20% magnesium powder. On here is how I made that conclusion. If you want to read it, just pause the video. Otherwise, let's get started. I'm now going to weigh, weigh out 4, four grams, grams of calcium, calcium hypochlorite. hypochlorite. I'm also going to weigh out one gram of magnesium powder. I'm now going to react calcium hypochlorite with glycerin. At the same time as a control, I'm going to react potassium permanganate with glycerin too. As we can see, calcium hypochlorite does react with glycerin, but nowhere near as violently as potassium permanganate. I'm now left with this weird foam. It looks a bit like sand. This weird sand-like substance will either be calcium oxide or calcium carbonate. 